Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I am back from a morning of thrifting. I went to a church rummage sale, an estate sale, and a flea market. I only purchased at the rummage sale and I spent $20. I've got a big bag full of goodies, craft supplies, things for my daughter, maybe a vintage or sterling piece in there, and also this organizer. This organizer was in the craft room and I have not decided if I'm going to give it to my daughter or keep it here for this room right now. I really would like to be able to store my strings of beads and color coordinate them, maybe even have my buttons in the same area. So this gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven drawers. And then we'll see if this little makeup um, like lipstick piece is attached or not. One dollar is the price. It's still shrink wrapped, probably from Amazon, and looks like it was at a savers type place for seven. There's also something down in the bottom. So I was very happy to find that, and that price is amazing. So my daughter could use it, I could use it, or I could even take it to school. Cannot beat one dollar. I will share things by category. So these were with the mm, makeup, health type things. Cannot beat a quarter. So these three items were a quarter. These are the nausea relief bands for your wrist for motion sickness, a quarter. I have bought these exact same ones at Rite Aid. I want to say maybe $15. So a quarter is amazing, looks brand new. I don't know if these really work or not, but at least it's something. So I'll just tuck these um, in the car for a long trip or even put them in my husband's car for a trip. These pretty little beauty blenders, brand new. I will probably tuck those away and put them in my daughter's stocking. This is a self heating one minute mask um, by Biore. She's so into this stuff. And I purchased it because even though it was open, there are three of them and they are fully sealed. Actually, four of them. And then for $2, I got this battery powered cleansing brush. Uh, and yeah, maybe within the past two days, I was thinking that I wanted one of these. Do you remember when they had Clarisonics and they were hundreds of dollars and it's literally the same thing? I'm so glad I never spent that money on one of them, but everybody just had to have them. I opened it up. Um, this is separate, so that definitely will go to my daughter. And then these were little velvety kind of felty liners, but I'm not, I'm not gonna use those. And that is by sorbusbeauty.com candle type things. This says fine essential oil strawberry wax melt for a quarter. Smells wonderful. And then this one is called Coco Chanel. And it's got a picture of an Izzy Miyake perfume. And this one smells really good too. It doesn't smell like Chanel or no, it's called Chanel Coco. Um, it doesn't smell like Chanel. It doesn't smell like Izumiyaki, but it's a nice scent. I don't think I'm going to put this one in the wax melter. I will probably break off a cube and stick it in a drawer or um, stick it in a cabinet. So when I open up that cabinet, it's got a nice scent to it. And this was actually the first thing that I picked up. 
uh, that's where the price tag was, $2. Got to clean that off. So that says, and I think this is very vintage, Hallmark made in the USA. Looks so modern, but this is the box. So the box has some water damage. But that's definitely an older style box. Two home decor type pieces, $7 for the decanter and 50 cents for this umbrella. I have this umbrella. I found it for a few dollars at Savers and it's in my daughter's room and I've always loved it. Frosted pink, just a little catch all. So I was so excited to find another for 50 cents. This perfume bottle was $7 and I found this one at the same sale last year, same spot on the table, probably for a dollar and I've got some beads in it and I might do the same with this. This one's a little bit bigger, um, but it has both of them. The nice polished thick base and I always love catching it at an angle and this one doesn't have a lot of scratches on it and it's very very clean. That bottle was seven dollars and this set was three so those were the most expensive pieces and that was half of what I spent so it's just such good deals. So it's a three-piece set. I really love the look of this handle and I figured it was sterling um, but I really could not tell. I could see something was on their uh on the handle and they are it's uh gorham sterling and i believe this is for well some type of serving and i've never seen anything like that and then we've got a larger one so i will love to add that to my collection and i use these as well when I go to sales like this and I have things that have safety pins or rubber bands, I will use those at school. I will use those around the house. There's no need to throw something like that away. So now for all of the art and craft supplies. 10 cents for this pretty ribbon. A quarter for Windsor Newton oil paint. So all of the tubes are in there and I opened them up and gave them a little squeeze. They're still soft because even though they're oil paint, after a couple of decades, they can get really hard. So those are wonderful. I will take those to school. Um, I don't necessarily need these. I do have a decent amount left, but I love to turn jewelry and buttons into pins and magnets. And I will pick them up for a quarter and add them to my stash because if there's a day that I want one and I've run out, I don't want to have to pay full price at the store when I could have spent a quarter. As I film in these little segments, um, I'm also putting away and cleaning as I go just to try and be efficient. So the little stocking stuffers are in the gift closet area. Some of the home decor is in the kitchen waiting to be cleaned. And I'm gonna put some of the art supplies away. So I set a decent amount of pins, but actually it's probably only about 10 left. So I'm glad I got these. Those are silver and these are gold. So I will just decant them in there. They will take up less space than the full packaging. And here you can even see I've used the top of a little jewelry box. Gabby sends jewelry in them and they're perfect to corral different things in a larger drawer. I picked up this bag for pin backs as well, and I could see that these were shorter than the ones I was buying and that I knew I had. So it's nice to have a variety, even some smaller than this, if you find a little piece you wanna make that's teeny tiny. So this bag was 50 cents. It's got some findings and some jump rings, some elastic, so my daughter will use some of that for making bracelets and other things I use like all the time in here when I'm creating. Looks like lobster claws and split rings. Um, I think I'm just going to donate these. These really aren't things that I would use, although I'll see if my daughter wants them. And talking about not throwing away safety pins or rubber bands, this is probably a brand new Ziploc that they purchased, like a whole box of, to put little things in like this and group as a lot. I will take that to school because if I have a student who wants to take some charcoal home that's kind of messy, this is perfect for them to do that. So I really do care about the earth and recycling and reusing and that's, you know, besides thrifting, this is other ways that you can um, be kind to the earth.
paintbrushes for a quarter. And these said that they're ox hair paintbrushes, brand new oil, watercolor, and acrylic. And originally from MJ Designs. Oh, look, October 1998. How cool is that? And then this package for a dollar. And there's some really cool uh, ribbons in there. So let me open that up. Lots of seam binding. Oh, and I'm realizing another rubber band, which is kind of awesome because in the past two days, I've found three rubber bands because we had none. And my son got a game that has four different types of cards and he was looking for rubber bands to wrap them up in. So he will be happy to have those. So I thought those were really pretty. Those were the ones on top. And then look at the strawberries. And I don't know what the one is, but definitely strawberries, maybe cherries. Adorable. And then some trim. I found three of these jars and they were a quarter a piece. And I am going to put some of my beads in them. I love the perfume bottles because I think they're so beautiful. But these were just nice because they can hold a decent amount. They have a wide opening because some of the perfume bottles won't hold my whole color scheme or the um, opening is too small and I'll have like one gem that can't fit in. So I would prefer something a little more beautiful, but these definitely will work. Um, I think this is what I was the most happiest to find. These three for a quarter because I've looked on eBay after I got a few from my friend Sally and it's expensive. Um, I really like the sequins in this one. I'll have to go through and separate here. But I've been looking for these because these are great to store um, some of the beads that I have that are just a small amount. So I don't need something this big um, because this is just takes up so little space. I mean, more sequins, but I cannot pick it up, uh, pass it up for a quarter green which is wonderful that they're already separated because they're still in the package so i can just add them to what i have red um these are nice to store things in but square or rectangular use the space as best as possible silver green and then i think this is santa claus which is awesome i have never seen those isn't that santa with his hat his face his little beard. Costume makers. The very last thing of the day are these acorns for a quarter. And if you watch Jean, I think she is Jean E here on YouTube. Yes, I just double checked J E A N and then a space and then the letter E. She does yard sale hauls and decorating videos and garden videos. I love her. So just this past week, she found a huge bag of acorns for a quarter. Now I believe hers were made to look like real acorns and I had commented, what a great price, like, you know, vase filler. So when I saw these, I had to get them. So this one says it's made from solid New England hardwoods to scent the little acorners of your world. Um, it says natural room fresheners, tuck them into drawers, uh, but don't put them on clothing or furniture. And then I just sniffed it a little bit and it smells like there might be some type of fragrance on them. They kind of have like a cologne, but powdery scent to them. It's not bad. I like it. Uh, it just, it doesn't smell like pine, you know, or something like that. And then it had this cherche. I don't know what that little image is there, but I'll keep it. It's French. You know, I like anything French. So that is my haul. It is so much fun to go to little sales like this where stuff is 10 cents and a quarter and I can add to my art stash. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you in another video. Bye.